Good evening. The agonizing delay has ended in the Gulf tonight. The tests have begun on that new cap down at the oil well. And take a look at the picture. 86 days into the disaster, you can see the oil is now coming out of the side of the new cap. We're accustomed to seeing it coming out of the top. Now it's coming out of the side because watchful government and BP scientists are carefully beginning to shut some valves and measure how much pressure from the oil is bolting out of the earth. What happens next? Our David Muir is in the Gulf tonight and he reports on all of this. David. Diane, good evening. And as you know, word came late today that this crucial test will move forward from Thad Allen. In fact, we've been tracking this. Take a look at the images just moments ago. You can actually see the, the oil gushing out from the top of that valve. And Thad Allen said that we'll be able to tell when the test begins because that oil will diminish. It will start coming out the sides. So this comes after 24 hours of major concerns tonight. What were those concerns and more now on the test that has begun? Tonight, they start to test that massive new cap. Weighing 150,000 pounds, BP hopes that it will ultimately stop the flow of oil completely. And the test comes after government scientists and the Coast Guard put the test on hold. We did this to make sure uh, that we were uh, taking due care, and in some cases maybe an overabundance of caution to make sure that we didn't do any reversible harm to the well bores. The test will now slowly close the separate valves on the cap one section at a time. BP's hope is that the cap fits tightly enough and is strong enough to hold back all of the oil, able to assess the pressure every 12 seconds. Thad Allen saying progress reports every six hours. As for those concerns, much of them centered on the piping inside that blown out well that extends some 13,000 feet into the sea floor. Some scientists asking once capped, can it withstand all of that pressure or would the trapped oil blow through any weak spots in that well? They have to be very careful when they close it down to make sure that that pressure doesn't come up quickly and cause any of the pipes to rupture. Meantime, halted during this testing process is the digging of that relief well, the permanent solution, which is now so close, just four feet from the side of the troubled well, another 150 feet down to go. Late today, we asked Louisiana's governor about this delayed decision. He told us the stakes are very high. We are at a point where we cannot afford for them to make this worse. We cannot afford for them to do damage to this well. Well, David, it's good news that the tests at least are underway, but we keep hearing about the pressure. Give us a number so that when we listen to the briefing, what is the number they do not want it to go below? They certainly don't want it to go any lower than 6,000 PSI, Diane. PSI, similar to what we measure the pressure in our tires and our cars, pressure per square inch. Anything below 6,000 would mean that the oil gushing up is not strong enough, that there are other leaks in that well. Optimum end, eight to 9,000 PSI. So that's what everyone here in the Gulf is hoping for tonight.